Hello, my name is Jillian Stevenson and I'm the course director of the Higher Education Food Programmes at Caffrey Valkyrie Campus. At Valkyrie, our focus is on food and we offer further education programmes in food right up to master's level. Alongside the education team is an industry team working with food industry offering advice and training. The higher education programmes that we have on offer include a foundation degree in food manufacturing and nutrition, three honours degrees, one in food technology, one in food innovation and nutrition and a food business management degree. All our degrees are validated by Ulster University and these have been primarily designed in collaboration with the food industry to meet the need for highly qualified graduates to enter at management level. Recent reports have highlighted the need for skilled, qualified graduates and there will be a huge amount of opportunities available for all graduates. One of the ways we ensure that our graduates are equipped for working in the food industry is our fo focus on learning by doing and active learning. So whether it's using the food microbiology, food chemistry laboratories, the processing or packaging, we've got the practical facilities to match. And a lot of the modules on both foundation degree and the BSc honours degree will involve using the practical facilities. The recently developed Food Innovation Centre is where most of the innovation and product development work. The product development module is our modules that the students really get a lot out of, learn a lot of new skills and really, really enjoy. But it's not all about just developing or coming up with ideas of the product in the um, highly equi equipped kitchen, but they also were encouraged to ensure that their consumers and their customers will buy the products through carrying out sensory analysis, there's a packaging prototype room and there's other quality labs. Involved in the degrees there's also food microbiology and food chem chemistry modules where the students are encouraged to monitor the safety and the quality of the product and really understand the application of science to produce profitable high quality products. We also have unique packaging facilities and the packaging team work alongside industry with lots of industry projects. Um, they have laboratories there to do the testing of packaging, the testing of the function, and this offers a unique opportunity and quite a number of our graduates have gone into packaging roles from um, their packaging modules. One of the key highlights in the degrees or one of our main advantages are the excellent industry links. I've already talked to you a bit about the pack um, product development module, a module that I said as I say, the students really, really enjoy. They work together as a team. But the key feature of this is that Moy Park um, produced real life briefs and the students have to develop their products right through to from kitchen trials through scale up in the Food Technology Centre to produce a product and packaging prototype, which they then present to a food industry panel in a dragon's den. It's always a very, very exciting module. And as I say, the skills that they learn are very transferable to their jobs in the industry. The annual Agri Careers Fair this year um, had 36 attending and here at this it provides students the opportunity and the companies the opportunity to discuss placement and graduate opportunities. We have a very strong bursary programme at Lockery and this year 17 bursary providers offered bursaries to the higher education students range from the first year students right through to a final year students. This offers financial support to the students and also a number of the providers provide paid placements. 17 bursaries were handed out this year um, with a total of £17,000. And that again highlights the industry support and the recognition of the Lockery courses. So why study at Lockery? As I've said before, the ultimate aim in any degree is to get a job and we are very proud of our graduate employment rates. 93% of our graduates are either working or have gone on to further study within six months of graduating um, into management roles, into technical management roles, into product development management. And uh, we have some people going into marketing roles from the business degree, sales management roles. So there's a huge amount of um, opportunities available. 
This is a simple diagram which shows, even for something as simple as a smoothie, what are the range of careers that are offered out in the industry. You'll see you've got from your food technologists, to your technical managers, nutritionists, packaging technologists. Some of the more business orientated include marketing, uh, market researchers and logistics and distribution. And we are confident that all of our craft free graduates are equipped to enter into any of these roles within the food industry. This is just um, an example of some of our graduates. There's a lot more graduate profiles that I could talk to you about. But Wendy Leggett and Rachel Crone both graduated with first class honours in food technology. Um, they had applied through the graduate scheme with Foil Food and had secured a graduate post before they did their final degrees. And quote from the girls is that it, Lockery gave them so many opportunities to develop the knowledge in the food industry and the skills that they need for the fast moving industry. They're both doing really, really well in the industry and are an, a complete asset to Lockery. So what are the degrees? A wee bit more detail about the degrees. So the BSc Honours Degree in Food Technology and Food Innovation and Nutrition are very similar, um, very similar modules. There would really only be a few modules different. And for both of these degrees, you're coming out as a food technologist. Um, the Food Innovation Nutrition degree, you're a food technologist with an interest in nutrition. But the industry need people to be able to manage the unit operations and with the ultimate aim of producing safe, profitable, wholesome and nutritious food products. Nutrition is one of the main drivers of the food industry at the minute and it, we see that it may continue for a number of years. So a knowledge in nutrition, a knowledge in the healthy aspects, and the labelling are all aspects that our, our students would cover on the degree programmes. The food innovation and nutrition, as I said, is very, very similar to the food technology degree, but there is a slight more emphasis on the new product development and the innovation of nutritious food products. There would be a high science element to both of these degrees. You would be covering um, units such as food microbiology, food chemistry and nutrition, food preservation, food, chem food composition. So really understanding what is happening to the food product as it's processed as it's manufactured to produce high quality, safe products that are going to make your business money. The degree can be three years or four years, depending on whether you do a placement. The placement year we encourage to get experience. Not only does it provide you with the opportunity to see what type of jobs you would like, but it also allows the companies to get a good look at you. And a number of our students are actually offered full time posts from their placement, having done so well. Some have a graduate post waiting for them as they finish, which is always very, very nice. Um, the placement has also a, an assessment element to it and you are awarded a diploma in professional practice. So you're not left on your own. You're supervised by the staff. We help you get placement. We have a placement coordinator, um, Adele Dallas, who helps you get a placement. And then you're assigned a supervisor who come out to see you um, three or four times a year and help you through your assessment work. Both of these degrees are also accredited by the IFST, which is the professional body for the food technology and food science um, career. The food business management then is slightly different. Although our degree programmes are all multidisciplinary and the food business management, you still do an element of food modules. For example, the product development module, again, that I talked about, you, you do do. You also do packaging development, you do quality management, you do a basic introduction into food manufacture. But the food business management, the easiest way probably to explain this is if you think of the food supply chain, right from production through to retail and think of some of the management functions along the way. So marketing, sales, um, logistics, moving products about, um, purchasing, procurement. Uh, a lot of our graduates here, although they um, sometimes do go into technical roles because they do have that food background, some of the more specific roles for the food business management degree would be marketing, uh, retail managers. We have some people that are project managers with Sainsbury's and Tesco. It's also 
offered as a three-year or a four-year placement. The foundation degree in food manufacture and nutrition is offered maybe if your A-levels haven't gone exactly to plan um, with a lower entry requirement. So it's 40 UCAS points required for this in comparison to the honours degree, which was 104. 40 UCAS points with a science background at grade D. It's a two-year programme, um, but its key feature is that it includes a compulsory 15-week work placement. So you've already got some work experience and a lot of our foundation degrees would then progress on to one of the BSc honours degrees with us. And because it has a similar first year to the BSc honours, you're able to enter in at second year. So essentially it's called a two plus two and you can get your BSc honours degree finished and completed in four years, a similar time to somebody that took a placement year. But because you have already done a compulsory work placement, a lot of our foundation degree students will go straight through without taking the year out. So it's just provides another option um, for people that maybe don't have the right subject choice or their A-levels um, haven't maybe gone according to plan. What we can ensure and what we totally commit to is that our graduates are getting really good jobs and there are a huge amount of job opportunities out there. It opens up a range of careers for you and our graduates are very well thought of and very well sought after and, and in a lot of cases they're um, described as hitting the ground running because of the active learning and the practical facilities that they have been exposed to. What's next? All our courses are for higher education. You must apply through UCAS and I've included some of the, the, the codes. The CAFRI buzzword will be CAFRI 20 for this year for September entry or CAFRI 21 for the September 21 entry. If you have any queries or questions or you want to discuss anything further, please do not hesitate to get in contact with me. Um, I'm always available. You can email me on gillianstevenson at dera.gov.uk or simply lift the phone and telephone. I hope to see some of you soon.